So I've been waiting for this to come in stock for a long time. This is Bamboo's Bamboo Cool Plate Super Tack Build Plate. And this is what you get in the box. So yeah, I've been um, waiting for this to come in stock for ages now. Um, the other day, I just happened to look on Bamboo's uh, website and they had it in stock so I immediately pressed buy and here it is today so this is how it comes packed as you can see there this is the bamboo cool plate super tack and this is the model FA P023 build plate and this is how it comes packaged and let's open it and let's have a look and see what you get inside Let's see how it comes packed. Comes like in a folded envelope. And as you can see, that is all you get in the box. What you pay for comes cellophane wrapped as, uh, as you would expect. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna make some adjustments on the um, on the bed I'm not going to touch this I'm not going to open it because I don't want to get fingerprints or anything on it um, but yeah I'm going to hopefully do some tests with this and uh, see how it works see if I can get some of those failed prints that my normal build plate couldn't achieve and seeing if this can do the job any better so let's have a look right so I'm on my laptop um, I've just put in all my details for the uh, bamboo lab what plate it is I am on the new software so I assume that they've already done this so that you can add your build plate and they'll do all the automatic settings for you um, so this model is um, what I'm going to do the test on so this is part of um, the Terminator uh, hand so this is part of that what I've had to do is split the model in half so that I can actually print it um, because it wasn't printing very well and I've tried to glue it together um, and still it's not glued properly so what I've done is I've put the full model back into Bamboo Lab um, I've done all my settings what I need it for and also done um, the slicing so now I'm going to test it on the new Bamboo plate which is, um, which is already in there and uh, we're going to see how how that prints out. I'm going to do a time lapse so um, we can see how it gets on and if it actually does work or not. So here we go. So here's me taking the old plate off and replacing it with the new SuperTac plate. And I've got to say, this plate fits really nice on here, on this bed, compared to the other one. successfully printed those perfectly without no wobble apart from I don't know if you'll show it in the um, in the video of the time-lapse but this part literally come away and then went back again so I was actually in the room when that happened and yeah I'm really lucky about that because I was actually gonna pause the print but it quickly went back again and yeah whew, that was so close so yeah, on a seven and a half hour print, um, yeah, let's, um, let's have a look at these parts. Oh yeah, and that was nearly at the maximum height of the printer. So yeah, I'm very happy with that. So I'm just letting the bed cool down and I'll take these parts off. So now the build plate is nice and cool and I'm gonna try and now take these parts off. And Here we go, it's the first one. Well, that's pretty strong on there, even if that was flexing like that. I don't know if you can see that on there. Wow, that's really good. 
Look at that. That was not going to shift off of there. So this is one of the rods for the arm. Uh, yeah, superb. If, if they're all like that, I'll be very happy. Wow, this is good. You can see the amount of um, force I'm having to put on that to get that off with the brim still stuck on it. Yeah. Superb, mate. Because before I could, um, yeah, literally, it's actually lifting the plate up, how much force I'm having to put on it. And this is the piece that was that, that buckled up the top. And this is the support, so. Wow, that's got some strength on there. That's crazy. Wow, all right, I'm gonna take this off properly and do it properly. So now all I've done is just taking the build plate off and uh, just gonna flex it as you would. If you can see that, that's just popped off. That's the support. Wow, fantastic, mate. Very happy with that print. Just gonna slap that on there. Yeah, wow. Very happy. Fantastic. So am I happy with the uh, with the print? Yep, I'm very happy. That is absolutely superb. Now I can finish this model. And uh, yeah, the print has come out absolutely beautiful. Really has, it's come out great. Really nice. So there's no layer shifts, nothing like that. Absolutely perfect. And these other ones was the problems as well. So with these, these are the rods. So compared, because they didn't print, I had to lay them down beforehand and they had, I don't know if you can actually see that on the camera. And by doing that, I had a slight ridge on top of that. So yeah, I don't need these anymore. And now I have perfect tubes. These absolutely spot on, fantastic. Very happy with that. So for the second test of this uh, bed, I've installed this set of stairs. I'm gonna modify the model, uh, make it a bit slimmer so it's got less surface area and put them on each corner. Because obviously the corners have got colder areas. We'll see how that does. All right, so what I've done is I've um, put these steps in and modified them, put them onto the corner of the bed so they're at that angle. And um, I've also made the steps smaller so they've got less, less surface area on the actual bed itself. And I'm not having any brim whatsoever on any of these. And I'm gonna upload this now and see how it does. guys I've just got in and that's finished I can't believe this has actually worked to be honest at that angle and right on the edge of the bed all four corners they've printed perfectly they've printed perfect so I can't actually believe that that's worked uh, I'll test so this bed's cold as well and it's actually lifting the bed up. Look at that. That's, that's crazy. That's insane, mate. Look at that. Look 
Yes, that is proper stuck on the bed. And the, the four it really took some force to take that off. Look at that. Really, that is absolutely mad. Look at that. That is just mental, mate. That's just crazy. So, I'm gonna have to do another test. I've gotta do another test to see if this is, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna push it to its limit now. Oh, I'm gonna go and find another model. All right guys, so this is gonna be another test. So what I've done is I've um, put this in, put this model in, and put this right at the back of the bed, and literally give it some good angle, um, and printing, towards the front of the bed and we'll see how this works whether it works or not so this is a 45 degree angle a 50 degree angle and a 55 degree angle to see if this works It's just failed this part of the 31 minutes into it. But the smaller section, it's just failed off. Which is not bad at all. I'm very happy with that. We shouldn't be printing like that anyway. Right, you know what I mean? That's, that's its limit for that bed adhesion. So I think the reason this failed is because I had it on normal speed going backwards and forwards so this was obviously jiggling this about and I reckon what happened is the nozzle clipped it because it was shaking about and knocked it off of the bed which this one was the 50 degree one but it's weird that the 55 degree one is still standing so it just goes to show how good this bed is to actually hold that. I mean look. That's still on the bed, still stuck. That's pretty impressive. That's what I think happened. So for the next test, I'm going to be doing this um, ball on a stick print. Uh, all my settings are as, as normal. Um, the speed is going to be normal um, so we'll soon find out how well it works at normal settings no modifications no slowdown and I'm going to upload this and this is going to take an hour and a half to print I'm going to do a time lapse of this one and see how it gets on because I am torturing this thing. To be honest, right, this is absolutely fantastic, this bed. I'm very happy with this. I've just been really stupid, extreme testing. Nobody in their right mind is gonna do that without supporting it, without no brim, without no brim on this. You know, you're not gonna be doing that. So, yeah. I will leave that to you, whether you want this bed or not. I love this thing. It's been able to uh, to print 
what I wanted that I couldn't print on my other bed. So I'm very happy with this. I'll let you make your mind up guys, whether you think this is worth it. To me, I think it's 100%, 100% worth it.